Kom, hier mein little Jackie, nu auf smooth me Bucky, have a bit of cracky, till the boat comes in. Dance to the daddy, sing to the mummy, dance to the daddy, to the mummy, sing. Thou shalt have a fishy, on a little dishy, thou shalt have a fishy, when the boat comes in. Thou shalt have a fishy, on a little dishy, thou shalt have a fishy, when the boat comes in. Mallow to see you. Mr. Mallow is a fully paid up member, Miss Laidlaw. Show him in. Well, well, nice to see you, Brother Mallow. Brother Ford. Still out, are you? Yes, I'm still on the boss's blacklist, Brother Ford. Don't you try and tell me there's no such thing. How can I? I was on it myself. Now, what can I do for you, Les? Well, we've formed a bit of a club, Brother Ford. Me and the others is out of work. Lampton slides and lectures and the like, sort of self improvement. You were wondering whether you might not drop in some evening. Perhaps Monday night, there's a meeting at seven o'clock. Well, I'm pretty busy, Les. I think it might be a good idea, Brother Ford, if you let the lads see you're taking an interest in them. Ah, oh, maybe it would. All right, I'll try. Uh, seven o'clock? Seven sharp. We'll wait for you. Miss Lalo? Oh, thank you. Well, there was just one other thing, Brother Ford. I thought there might be. About that new housing estate of Lisbon Way. Oh, I can't help you there, Les. There's a waiting list a mile long. Yes, I know there's a waiting list, but I happen to be on it, and I'm in the right place, and I haven't come here trying to jump the queue. And what are you trying to do? I understand the small gardens attached to these houses. So they tell me. It's the occupier's responsibility to keep those gardens tidy. Council rule, Les. Is that wrong with it? No, brother, but keeping those gardens tidy involves buying seeds and cuttings. Can't do. And the only seed supplier for miles around is a man called Sanderson. And Mr. Sanderson is charging twice as much as anybody else for those seeds. What's more, he's expanding his business. I think there's a bit of capital going in there, brother. Evils of capitalism, Les. Demand exceeds supply, not go the prices. Any good uh, capitalist would invest in that. Mr. Sanderson's brother is on the council. Chairman of the housing committee. Just what are you after? I think you and me should speak out against that, brother. <laughs> me? It's not to do with me. I'm not even on the council. No, but you're one of the fellows that people listen to. God help them. I'm sorry, Les. I don't think I can help you. Brother Ford, at this meeting on Monday night, there's a gentleman coming down from Glasgow to speak specially to us. Comrade. Comrade, Les? That's what I said, brother. He's going to speak about the Russian people and their struggle for socialism. Should be a very interesting speech. We'll be standing in the aisles. Also, there'll be a discussion afterwards. Question and answer. White atrocities, Brother Ford. Capitalist mercenaries who attempted to crush the proletariat. It might be very interesting to have your own personal eyewitness account of that, brother. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were busy. It's all right, but I was just going. Think on what I said about the Sanderson's, won't you? That'll take a bit of thinking about. You've no option, have you? Well, I'll see you to meet on Monday. Nice to see you again, Matt. I wasn't too good last night, was I? I wouldn't say that, Matt. I wouldn't say that at all. What's he after? Me. What, what else? Now? What now? Councillor Sanderson's brother sells seeds to council house tenants. If they don't buy them, they get chucked out. If they do buy them, they have to pay double what they're worth. That's not right, Jack. Maybe it's not, but it's none of my business. He wants me to speak against it. We can't hear you. Or else he'll tell our members that I was in Murmansk fighting the comrades. That's blackmail. Aye. <laughs> He's learned a few tricks, his less. Only it won't stop there. How do you mean? Sanderson seeds that small beer map now in it a few thousand at most. Just a try on. But if I do it, what next? I hear Brother Mallow's thinking of putting up for the council. Ah, he was telling me the other day. Next he'll be after me to help him do that. And after that will be your job, Matt. And then it'll be mine. What? Where did you see him, Matt? At the Blue Bell. Tom was in. We had a few drinks to celebrate. Celebrate what? Tom's got a job. He's going back home. Big celebration? Uh, we shifted a few. <laughs> Talk about Kaganovich, maybe. Who? That fella from Russia came after us last week looking for money I hadn't got. Well, we might have done. And maybe you talked about how I took money off his father in my mansk and all, and Les Mallow sitting next to you drinking lemonade and his ears out on stalks. You bloody fool. Well, I never said no after uh, Tom saw him. And when did Tom see him? Five minutes from closing time. Well, Jack, I'm sorry. Why, me and all. Well, what are you going to do? What can I do? He's got us, you stupid bugger. He's got us like that. Hey, okay, love, you going to put that in there for me? Down there, on this one. Tom? Tom? <laughs> Ma'am, hello. Let's have a look at you. Hey, you've lost weight. It's only been a couple of weeks, You've ma lost weight. I've got some broth left over from dinner. I'll just heat it up. Well, Tommy, 
I'm going to say hello to your dog. I'll be lucky if he still recognises you. Two weeks, ma'am. It's only a bell, I forget easy. And just where how you been, may I ask? Dawson's. Working men's hostel. You never. It's all I could afford, ma'am. Dawson's? All the riffraff in creation. Well, I'm riffraff myself, aren't I? I do. Did you, uh, did you see Jack Ford there? Aye. Told us to come home, said I was needed. Well, so you are. That was days ago. I don't have to do what Jack Ford tells us. No, what your mum wants. Mum, I'm back, Anna. I've got money of my own. Oh, you haven't been. Mum, I told you, thieving's finished. Tom Seaton, Joven Gardner. That's me. Oh, it is, is it? Aye, it is. How are you, Dar? Short-handed. Joven Gardner. You want it here? I've still home crates for you, but I'm my own man, Dar. You pay your work? Aye. Just tell us what I owe. What do you think I am? Bloody shy like a summit. All I'm asking is, do you need a sub? No, Dar, thanks. I'll be all right. Why, well, it looks like we'll both be all right, me and Tommy. How in the world did you get started? Well, you took a walk, man. It's just nook gardens. Oh, it's nice out there. Aye, lovely. I think it must have been bus eyed fella trimming her head. <laughs> man, it was odd shapes. So I stopped to have a look, and I was always watching him. I suppose you think you could do better, he says. I know I could, I says. You're on, he says, and hands us the clippers. It cost you two bob, I says. <laughs> anyway, I did it. Well, and then there was his lawn and his sweet peas to stake up. And then the fella next door says, that's why he just sort of snowballed. Mm. Tell you, fellas in Chestnut Gardens don't fancy bending their backs. Mm. Oh, you do. You've got We both did, Dar, when we worked the two-foot seam. Aye. Very much? All I need, Tommy and me. That's what I can do, Dar, make things grow. Should we stop in here? All right, as long as I want it. Oh, you want it, all right. Great's the hump. You great dark clown. What do you want to go and run away for? Oh, you know fine well. Where do you stop? Look, let it be. He's back now. Where, Tom? Dawson's hospital. Great God almighty. Was it that bad here? Right, Dara, I had to show you. Show us what? This shopkeeping, man. I cannot do it. I have in the brains. I think I was Jesse or Billy, but I'm not. Now, you're making a living now, and I'm happy at it. Happy? The only one here that is. And he goes off without a word. Not a word, no tea, nothing. Just walks out. Wasn't hungry, maybe. Well, what have you known how I'm at? And he wasn't hungry. And what made you so late, may I ask? This tea's been ready since half past five. I went to the Blue Bell. Oh, did you? I was looking for Matt. He wasn't there. Have you two had words? Aye. Oh, Jack, what's he done? It couldn't be what have I done. You're a clever one, Jack. And you know how to hurt. But never our Matt. You've always looked out for him like he was your own. Aye, he's the only... The only one, not even you, is that it? Oh, I see more than I mean, you know that. No, I don't know. Matt's... Oh, I saw too much, Pitt. Oh, that war. Aye, the one we're supposed to have won. It changed me, Dolly, you should have known me before. But Matt, he's never changed. The same honest, trusting lad that liked to drop too much. He shot me, Dolly. Matt would never... He didn't mean to, Pitt. He was drunk, but he shot me. Who too? Les Mallow. What about? Russia, what I got up to. Oh, man, Russia was years ago. It's all over. Mallow's a red bunny, lass. So are all his mates. They'd be running the union if it wasn't for me. They want me out and this could do it. And Matt told them. He's a fool. Well, what are you going to do about him, Jack? I don't know. Will you have to get rid of him? I just don't know. And then she tried the wee tiny bird and it was just right. And very soon, little Goldilocks was fast asleep. Meanwhile, the three bears had finished their walk and came home for their breakfast. Daddy Bear said in his big voice, Who's been eating my porridge? Say it back, eh? Looks like an eye. And Mummy Bear said in her medium-sized voice, Who's been eating my porridge? You say not. Not to do with you. I'm sorry, kid. I'm just a bit upset. Welcome back. And the baby bear said in his wee tiny voice, who's been eating my porridge? I'm such a left some soup. Because whoever it is is eating it all up. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm not hungry anyway. He's taking Dara out for an errand. She'll likely bring you something back. Working, are you? I was. Locum's job. Huh? Dr Lynch had to go to a funeral in Dublin, so I filled in for him. What about you? Aye. Right. Gardner. Best thing that ever happened to us. And the three bears went upstairs. Daddy Bear said in his great big voice, who's been sleeping in my bed? I tell you, it's going to be a tight fit, the three of us here. Oh, Jesse wants us to go and stay with her. Ah, oh, so her, are you going? Wait, now you're back. 
Gate and sides, are we, Billy? What's that supposed to mean? Seaton family. Splitting up, are we? Brains versus brawn, is that it? Oh, for heaven's sake, man. Anybody in? Come in, Les. Les? Where's Mallow? Oh, yeah, come right, Father Jesse's. Well, then. Oh, I'll catch you on your own. Never mind me, are we in and sit down? This is my brother, Tom. Aye, we met last night in the Blue Bell. Anyway, the three bears went upstairs. I hope to have a few and words, Billy. Shall we go for a walk? No need. Tommy and me will go and sit in the shop. You don't want to be a nuisance? No. Are we in me bunny bear? Are we in the granddad's shop? I'll teach you all about capitalism. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, lads. Uh, our Tom's not usually like that. No, I know, Billy. Maybe it's my fault. You? Well, he hardly spoke. I was in the Blue Bell last night when he was there with Matt Headley. Matt Headley was drunk. It's happened before. Yes, but when he gets drunk, he talks too much. I discovered something last night, Billy, about Jack Ford. Jack? What about him? He betrayed his class lab. He's still at it? No, but you don't know the half of it. You. You've been drinking. Shows did it? Of course it shows. I don't think there's anything to eat because there isn't. Yours was burned hours ago. Go on in a week. You're not getting anything. Oh, for God's sake, sure, will you? Where's Jack? Out. Looking for you. Oh, that's right. Go on. Make yourself worse. I doubt that's possible. Matt, whatever made you do it? You worried me what Jack did. Russia was years ago, man. Kaganovich was last week. Jack was wearing his watch. Don't you see, Dolly? What Jack did, it was wrong. Taken bribes from his Russian comrades and then he betrayed them. Interrogations, executions. Well, I knew he'd been to Russia, but a lot of chaps did. I thought it was just political ignorance. No, Jack Ford knew what he was doing. So it would seem. Well, you can't get this to yourself, Les. Can I not? No, that remains to be seen. You see, he knows I know, Bonnie Lad. Who told him? I told him. What's more, I told him I'd keep quiet. Provided he uses some of his famous charm for us for a change. For his own members, for his own class. That's blackmail, Les. Well, fight no war, Billy. You were the one that first taught me that. I could ask little kid preaching to his elders and betters. By God, I listen to you. I know, but... It's a war, Billy. All the big artillery's on the other side. I've got to use what weapons we can find. I want Jack Ford to speak out about that scandal out at Sanderson's. You think that's going to make up for what he's done? No, I don't. And maybe he'll speak out for me as well. Get me on the council where I can do something. And then? And then we'll see. Well, you've really got it in for him, haven't you? I've never tried fighting fair, Billy. Well, the hell's it got me? What Jack Ford did was bad. It was evil, Billy. Well, now maybe we can get some good out of it. Hi, my guy. Hi, 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 Sure, get them down. I'll get them down. Right, you're back quick. Aye, right, small whiskey. Small? A night's young, Charlie. Hey, drink, lads. Matt been in yet? Oh, yeah, I'm by. What you having? Well, you've let him off the lead, have you? You better explain yourself, bunny lad. Oh, no offence, Jack. Well, it's just you're usually in together, like. And what? Nothing. Nothing. I pence the best. You're a bit clumsy, aren't you, friend? Get in my way, bunny lad. I pence the best. And a whiskey. I'm finding no whiskey. I think you are. You're going to tell me why? Because if you don't, I'll belt you. You and who else? Just me. Hey, not in here, Jack. Could be him. Charlie never could stand the sight of blood. Well, look, on the house, Jack. We don't want no trouble. And you, get out. You've had enough. Are you going to put me out? No, I won't, but there's four of us here who will. Bloody cowards. Four out of one. Always pick on me, don't you? I'll see you again, you bugger. Any time, friend. Just come for a bloody quiet night out. Not what happens. Who the hell was that? Mick Charlton. There's no but trouble, that bloke. His wife works for me at the moment. Helping Jesse with the housework. How are you, boy? I'll survive, Ashton. What do you have? Thank you, I have one. I came here in the hope that I might find you. You got lucky then. Something I can do for you? For my wife. All right. She's not well for it. So they tell me, Ashton. I'm sorry. It might have led to embarrassment to call at your house, so I came here. As you say, I was lucky. Would you have to? She'd like to talk to you. What about? It's not really my business. I honestly think it would be better if she told you. 
She sent you here to fetch me. No, I offered to come. It's important to her. It must be. Well, I'll drop in when I can. Thank you. Not exactly your sort of place, yeah. Not exactly. If you don't mind, I'll finish this and go. No, hold on a minute. I think I'll better leave first. I beg your pardon. Might be a bit embarrassing for a headmaster. See you, Charlie. Hey, see you, Jack. I said I'd see you again. Hi, small world. Tom didn't fancy his company. Well, what would I, you bloody red? Socialist, Dad, same as you. Aye. Uh, well, I've been thinking about that. Well, have you now? What did Mr. Mallow want? He came to tell us some things about Jack Ford. What about Jack? Mamansk. Huh? Gosh, ma'am. Seems like a wonderful Jack hasn't always been such a hero. Well, no, but he is. And it's none of our business, no, you remember that. I'm not so sure. Well, you better be. You shut the shop, have you? Aye, I took four and sevenpence. No tick. Les Mallows up to his ears in luck. There's no call for you to go and join him. I wouldn't say that. You weren't in the Blue Bell last night. I was. You don't seem to have done much to stop it, then. Well, there wasn't much I could do. Anyway, Jack can handle it. And if he can't, he knows where I live. But mind, you keep out of it. Suppose I don't. Then I'll hammer you, Billy boy. I'll hammer you flat. I thought I bashed him with his nose. You've been fighting. Les Mallow. I wish it had been. Been supping again, has he? Well, I can't stop him. And it was you that wanted him here. Aye. It was. Jack? Are you all right? I've just belted a fella. Time was, that would have done me more good than whiskey. Not any more. Go to bed, Dolly. It's only ten o'clock. We'll have an early night. Jack, you won't... Belt him. You go to bed. I've had me fight for the day. That's all we've got, you know, Jack. I, I do know. Better wait a bit. Time two. Come on, Corporal, what the hell's the matter with you? Stand too! Oh, must have been dreaming. The war? Aye. Some would have been. Why does? It's over, Matt. It's all over. Like I said before, what is done is done, only you never seem to listen. You did wrong, Jack. We all did wrong. Aye. You knew what you were doing. You still do. You're still on about Kaganovich. Aye, I am. You robbed his father. You're wearing his watch. And what Les Mallow's doing, that's right. Well, he thinks so. Do you? I don't know, Jack. I don't know bloody thing anymore. Been fighting? Fell in the blue bell. What for? I keep telling myself it was because he spilled me whiskey. But it wasn't. I had to belt somebody. You mean me? I'm the way I am, Matt. Nothing's going to change us now. If you stick with me, you'll just have to put up with it. Hell, man, it's not as if we're married. You can always walk out. Just did, Jack. I can't. Good God, Ford. Nice to see you, sir, Ratio. Nice horse. Now, what the hell do you know about horses? Saw a general fall off one once. Horse looks good. You can ride, you're halfway to being a gentleman. Oh, you ought to have been in the cavalry, like me, Ford. What are you doing here? Take a look at Mandrake House. Thinking about it. Knocking it down? Oh, there's plenty of time. I've still got land to buy. It'll finish you in your union job if you start demolition work for me. I know. Ford already, are you? Are you in trouble? You still owe me that favour. I don't want you quitting the union till that's paid. You'll get what I owe. 
you know of a seedsman called Sanderson? Yes. What do you know? What do you want me to know? They've got a nice little swindle going with the Galashiel council houses. I've got money in the Sandersons. You have? Well, that's washes to you. Brass is brass. Sanderson's has a future. I doubt it. Talk, sir? A lot of talk. Can you stop it? Why should I? Start small, Billy. The council houses, maybe a free clinic. If we can want to stab her on their side. Once they start to trust us, Billy can work miracles. So we'll have to get rid of the dead wood first. Like the Sandersons. Now you'll do for a start. I'll have a word with you, Les. Hello, Brother Headley. Nice to see you again. I'd like a word for you, Les, in private. Come in. Not for me, Billy. Well, the minute's enough. All right, news one, uh, Mr. Headley. Is that it? I don't think there's anything to talk about, do you, brother? I do. I was drunk that night, Les. It was my fault, though. I know fine well whose fault it was all the same. Go on. You don't take advantage of a chap when he's drunk. It's not... Not cricket, old lad. I was going to say not fair. Fair? Who the hell are you to talk to me about what's fair? I've been out for months, blacklisted. You know why, Matt? Because I fight for what I believe in. You think that's fair? Do you do that, Matt? Does Jack Ford do that? Jack's a good secretary. Yes. He hasn't lost a compensation case yet. He got you a penny an hour on the basic. Jack Ford's a boss's man in my book. That means he's a traitor. And this is his punishment. That's right. But what are you punishing me for, Les? Am I a traitor and all? No, I don't think you are, Matt. I'm sorry involved in this. I really am sorry. Well, let us out, then. How can I do anything like that? Tell Jack you won't use what I told no, you. No, Matt. I need what you've given me. Aye. Right. You want to get on and all, that's all it is? Yes, I need to get on. But not for myself, for the people that need me. Oh, Mr. Edley, you know exactly what how much has to be done. Whether you like it or not, you're one of us. Jack and me's been pals since 1914. Yeah. That's right. Now don't start the sentimental stuff with me, Matt. I haven't got time. Yeah. You're harder than Jack. Maybe as I am. Maybe as I have to be to do what has to be done. <laughs> if I was Jack, I'd belch you. I could, you know. Wouldn't make any difference, Matt. Ah, you'd still use what I told you. Hey, come on. Can I get you to do that, No, no, thanks. You've got to be off. Conscience prick on you, Billy? I like that, man. Yes, so do I. I also like the bairns running on the streets with no boots on their feet. And their mother's gone hungry because their fathers haven't got any work. The widow women and nobody cares about them. You all the men in the workhouses. And the 14-year-old girls going out skivvying so they can put food in the mouths of the families. I do more than like them, Billy. I love them because they're my kind. And I've got want. So I can do something about that want. At least I can try. And one man does get hurt. You want to talk about it? About what? You and our Billy. Ma'am, there's not much to tell. Him and Les Malas after Jack Ford, that's all I know. Murmansk, Billy said. Oh, leave it, mother. One of my sons says he'll hammer. The other, I think, have a right to know why. It's man's business. Well, I think it's that ma'am's business. And you're going to tell us? Look, Jack got up to something in Russia, made a bit of money, that's all I know. Something dishonest. Why, what else would it be? And Les Malas using it against him. Well, Jack Ford should have thought of that at the time. There's always consequences. Russia was years ago. You hadn't even met our Jesse. But he met a Russian last week. A chap called Kaganovich. He was in the hostel next to me. Why, I liked him. He was a canny fella, but Jack's put it across him and all. Ah. Well, that's why you're stopping out of it. I suppose, so I. Well, what do you want to pick on our Billy for? I got Jack still me Mara. Why, he can take care of himself, always could. He won't thank you for interfering. Mama, don't want thanks. But our Billy. What about our Billy? What chance would he have against you? May as well tell us what a man he is. Well, so he is. I think he's still act like one. I'm up here. Job with. Tell him, man. So, yes, sir. So long, Doc. All right, tell us, son. You did wrong. I did not. They're our bairns. That grown man that's settling their own way, not yours. Our oh, Tom always looked after Billy. Well, we all did. No can start looking after himself. If he's man enough. Matt? Matt? He's not in. Oh, I hope he's not Rosen. in. Rosen. I shouldn't worry. He's a bit slow, but he learns. Jack has left a note. Read it, then. It's addressed to you. Read it, I said. You don't think you do anything stupid, do you? Not that stupid. Read it. Dear Jack, I've got a lot on my mind just now, which I'm sure you know, 
So I'm going to stop at our man's for the weekend and have a good think. I'll see you at the office on Monday. Still your pal, Matt. Well, what do you want to go to man's for? You just told you, to think. Jack, do you think we should slip over and see him? No. Jack! He's on his own now. There's no we can do. Matt hates that watch. It's up to him, but it's 18 carat Swiss made. He reckons you stole it. And what do you reckon? Well, that's none of my business, is it? Clever girl. I've got to go out for a bit. I won't be long. All right, Jack. And stay away from your mams. Not up in the world, I see. You can't beat the outdoor life, you know. As long as it pays. Why, I manage. I did go home, you know. Good lad. Tell your mum I was asking after her. You can give us a knock one of these days. Matt could do with a hand with our garden and all. How <laughs> weird, Matt. Hey, Jack. I, uh, I know about your bit of trouble. Oh, I? Why, I was with Matt when it happened. Celebrating. It's not your fault. I tried to shut Matt up, but... Uh, I believe you. Oh, the trouble was, Jack, I had a canny few myself, like... And I got to listening. You see, uh, I liked Kaganovich. Matt thinks I cheated him. I didn't. I cheated his father years ago. His father cheated me. It's that bugger Mallow. He's doing what he thinks is right, Tom. You can't blame him for that. All the same, I'm keeping old Billy out of it. Billy? Yeah, man, him and Mallow's as thick as thieves. And Billy's out of it. How was it the first time? What's on your mind? Well, chaps that cross you usually wind up getting hurt. Maybe they do. But not this time. I've not to hurt them with. The good of the cause, you say? No, Jess, that's what he says. But you go along with it. There's so much to be done. Like when I had that locum's job. I saw things I hate, and so do you. Ricketts, malnutrition, TB. Les is right. There's nothing we can do without power. And Jack Ford's got power. You think Jack's an engine you can switch on and off? You're more likely blow up in your face. Stay out of it, Billy. Tom's against it and all, you know. But Tom reckons that Jack's his marrow. What's your reason, Jess? I think it's wrong. And if you go on with it, it'll get worse. Jack will see to that. Yeah, I'll be worried for a minute. I thought perhaps uh, you were still fond of him. You're a clever lad, Billy. Always were. But you don't know much, do you? There's a Mr. Ford to see you, Mrs. Ashley. Sure, no, well... Mrs. Charlton. Now look, sis. I'm out of this. I'm taking no sides. I just wish you were out of it, too. When are you going to come and stay here? As soon as this is settled. I promise. Miss Stafford, bring us some tea, Mrs. Tartan. Uh, not for me, thanks. I'd better be off. Well, Mr. Ford. Well, Mrs. Ashton. Still in the wars, are you? How are you, bunny lad? All right. How did I go? You've been telling your sister about Les and me, have you? Yes, I have. Did she say anything? She told us to keep out of it. That's good advice, Billy. I'd take it if I was you. See you, so you're in on this. Is that why I'm here? No, it's not. You've asked for it often enough. But not this way. Les Mallow, of all people. Aye. Reminds me of the Padre, one church parade, a bit out of the Bible. That he that is without sin among you cast the first stone. That's Les. The woman taken in adultery. What? The woman taken in adultery. That's what Jesus said when he saved her. That he that is without sin. Les should think shame. Less, sure. Never mind. I'm out of it, Jack. All right. Your husband said it was important, whatever it was. Where is he, by the way? Playing bulls. Well, that's better than meeting vulgar characters like me in a low public house. Well, it is a low public house. I took you there once. Bought your port. What are you after, Jessie? <sighs> it was for our Billy. Ah, it wouldn't be. But it's too late now. Likely it is, but I might as well hear it. Billy's a good doctor. I'm not just saying it. But he can't get work. Politics. Could be the death of him. I just wondered. You need a doctor's opinion for your compensation cases, don't you? I thought maybe you could use Billy. That's going to be up to him, Bonnie Lass. There we are. Shall I pour it out for you? No, no, no. We'll manage. I'll leave you to it, then. If you don't mind my asking, Miss Stafford, you haven't got a relation called Jack by any chance? <sighs> not that I know of, Mrs. Charlton. Uh, I'm an orphan, you see. Oh. Why'd you ask? Oh, it's just my man had a run in a few nights back with the Jack Ford, and uh, this Jack Ford gave him a real good hiding. Oh, well, I'm sorry I can't help you, Mrs. Charlton. But I can see why you'd want the fellow prosecuted. Prosecuted? I'd like to take him by the hand and say thank you very much. Charlton still hasn't got the strength to lay a finger on us. <laughs> still at it, are you, Jack? Me? 
Respectable union officials don't get into fights. No, they don't. But you do. Still, but a good came out of it. But you didn't know, did you? And you didn't care. If I was a man, I'd hit you myself. You'd end up with a black eye, Bunny Lass. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Doctor. Yeah, well, I didn't hurt you, Doctor. Hang on a minute, Doctor. I'll just uh, sweep all these nasty leaves out of your road. Leo. You're going to make us then, are you? But I'm not going to fight you because I can't. I'd be daft if I tried. So if you're going to hear us, get on with it. Take my belt to you, more likely. I'll tell you one thing first. I'm out of that Les Mallow business. And it's not because of you either. Oh, well, what then? I'd work with our Jesse about it. I watched Matt Headley begging him. I thought I could stomach that, but I can't. So will that do? Aye, that'll do. You're still going to stay at our Jesse's, are you? Yes. I see. She needs us, Tom. I thought you said you couldn't treat her. Well, I can, but she's happier from there. It's Ashton. She married Kidder. Is he going to be happier and all? That demarcation business at Ropers, that'll keep till I get back. I shouldn't be gone more than one night. Purposes compensation case, Mr. Headley can handle that. And the branch meeting agenda. Yes, Mr. Ford. Oh, and if a Mr. Robbins from the Gazette rings, I want to speak to him straight away. Yes, Mr. Ford. Morning, Matt. You're a bit late, aren't you? I'm sorry, the bus is Never mind, never mind. Get your coat off, boy, lad. There's a lot to do. Right, old Miss Laid Law. Get on with it. Jack, I've been thinking. Now, this is all the urgent stuff, Matt. There's nowt here you can't handle. If anything dodgy crops up, just leave it till I get back. Matt, where are you going? Don't panic. It'll only be for one night if all goes well. Uh, Miss Laid Law, get me a trunk call, will you? Yes, Mr. To Ford. Scotland Yard. Uh, that's in London, Miss Laid Law. And don't worry, nobody's going to get arrested. I've got a friend there, Detective Sergeant Armstrong. I want to speak to him personal. What are you up to, Jack? That demarcation dispute, I better have a word with head office. Well, you can handle it. There's uh, no harm in showing you keen. Besides, uh, you don't think of your man? Oh, yeah, I have. You better get on with it then. Well, the way I see it. Mr. Robbins from the Gazette, Mr. Ford. Right. Hello, Stan. I'm fine, thanks. How's yourself? Good, lad. Now, listen, Stan, did you get it? Great. Fleur, who? Spell it. C A R. Oh, oh, Carruthers, right. And three offences, you see. And she definitely moved to London. You don't know where, I suppose. Oh, well, never mind. I know a chap who can find her for me. Oh, well, uh, you might say a specialist in that kind of work. Aye. Oh, just a bit social work. Aye. I will say one for me. Ta-ra, Stan. And thanks again. What was all that about? Hitler Keith. You first. Jack, I've let you down. Aye, you have. Well, the way I see it, you've let a lot of people down and all. I, I can't keep up with you, Jack. I never could, only... You want out, Matt? Well, not unless I'm giving the push. Somebody's got to keep an eye on you, Jack, and I've had more practice than most, only... You better finish it, then. Well, no funny business, not while I'm here. See this wet? See this dry? I mean it, Jack. I wouldn't doubt you, bonny lad. And uh, did you think about Brother Mallow and all? All the bloody time. I wish I knew how we could fettle him. I do know. I went to see Jesse Ashton on Saturday. Oh. Now, don't start getting excited. In the first place, she's ill. In the second place, she's after a job for their Billy. But we'll talk about that later. But she said something that started me thinking, and I made a few inquiries. Brother Mallow has a sister. I didn't know that. I bet you didn't. Now, I want you to go home tonight and take care of Dolly. And for God's sake, keep your mouth shut about Jesse Ashton, because there's nothing for you and Dolly to worry about. Now, will you do that? Well, of course I will. But what about that bugger Mallow? You just leave him to me. Yes! I have to take the Sergeant Armstrong for you. Right. Hello, Joe. Hi. Jack Ford. Sergeant Jack Ford. That's right. Now, listen, Joe. You're just the fella I want. She's lit. The drink of union out is Jack. <laughs> right, that's the nice watch you've got. Hi, souvenir. I still don't see why you're after her. Oh, her brother's a mate of mine. He's worried about her. Uh, fitter is he? Aye, uh -huh. when he's worried. <laughs> Three quid in a good week. His sister does a bit better than that. This is a good beat. How much? Twenty. Uh, Twenty-five, if she feels like grafting. I wonder if drop you, sir. Yeah, they mostly are. Here she comes. Which one? The blonde. Let's get on with it. Evening, Fleur. Oh, Monsieur Armstrong, you gave me a fight. I was not doing anything. This gentleman would tell you. You're being a good girl, were you? That'll be the day. Uh, this gentleman would like a bit of a word with you. Oh, yes? A word I said, and that's all. And don't let me catch you out again tonight. I won't, Mr. Armstrong. See ya. I won't let you catch us. 
come to preach, have you? Me? Never in the world, Miss... Uh... Caravers, Fleur Caravers. That's funny. I thought your name was Dizzy Mono. What are you after? Oh, just a chat for you. Maybe a drop of this, eh? Holy. Come in, lads. Don't be shy. There's only me here. Oh, you got me message, did you? Yes. I deadly said it was urgent. So it is, money lad. For you. Oh, you must excuse us, Les. I had a bit of a late night last night. I was, oh, uh, yes. I was thinking over our little problem. Well, we haven't got a little problem, have we, brother? Well, I'm glad you think that, Les. I really am. So let's just forget about the whole thing, shall we? I mean, what Sanderson charges for his seeds is no business of mine. But you're going to make it your business, aren't you, comrade? Uh, talking of seeds, do you know the French word for flower, Les? Stick to the point, brother. It's Fleur. It's a funny thing, that. Last night in London, I met a lass called Fleur. Only one time her name was Daisy. And that's a flower and all. You funny? rotten. Don't start anything. I'll enjoy it, Liz. You won't. Sit down. This, sir, uh, Fleur is a working girl, Liz. Night shifts, mostly. Twenty quid a week. Sometimes more. Mind you, she sends a bit home to her brother. That's for me, mother. Damn you. How can I get me mother when I'm out of work? Does your mother know what your daisy's up to? No, of course not. She thinks she's in service. Well, like those two fellas in that story, Les, maybe you've heard it. There's this preacher, like that could be you, Les, and then there's this randy soldier, like that could be me. And the soldier sees the preacher talking to these tarts, and he says, What are you doing, Reverend? And the preacher says, I'll save fallen women. And the soldier says, Well, save one for me, will you? Do you get it, Les? Yes, I get it. You're living on immoral your earnings, Les, and so is your mum. What do you want? Just get off me back and stay off. That's a good lad. Do you mind if I ask you something? We'll see. Who told you? It wasn't Matt Headley. <laughs> well, Matt, uh, that fellow you were bothered about, it's all settled. He's changed his mind. It's marvellous. Thanks, Jack. Any time, Matt. Any time. Hello, Les. I'll be with you in a minute. Yes, you're all right. I've just had a bit of a shock, that's all. Oh, can I get you a cup of tea or anything? No, thanks. Uh, Les, I have to tell you, how can I go along with what you're doing? About Jack Ford, I mean. I'm doing note about Jack Ford. Oh, well, I think you're wise, Les. I mean, a thing like that, I know you meant it for the best. Look, I cannot do anything about Jack Ford. He's beaten me at my own game. Somebody shot me to him. Shopped you? Billy, I've come here to ask you face to face. Was it any of you? Oh, lad, you surely don't think that I would do No, that. I don't mean you. I mean your family. Who could have told Jack Ford that I've got a sister? Your mother, maybe? Well, I hardly know you, Les. I mean, the only one that knows you is Sour Jesse, and she will. Go on. Well, Jack Ford came to see her last Saturday, but I'm sure she wouldn't say anything. Jesse, dear God, he's a wonder, Brother Ford, isn't he? Once he's had his hands on you, you're his for life. Should we fish in muddy waters? Sanderson's? Time to pull out? No need. There'll be no scandal. I've stopped it. What do I owe you? Nothing. Send us a few bulbs for me garden. Sing to the mummy, dance to the daddy, to the mummy sing. Who shall have the fishy on a little dishy? Who shall have the fishy when the wood comes in?
thou shalt have a fishy on a little dishy, thou shalt have a haddock when the boat comes in, thou shalt have a fishy on a little dishy, thou shalt have a blood when the boat comes in, thou shalt have a fishy on a little dishy, thou shalt have a mackerel when the boat comes in, thou shalt have a fishy on a little dishy, thou shalt have a salmon when the boat comes in. <laughs>